to see what I end this amanu kona chino so a bit is radio X Y Z ni radio gold you know a few months here FM ni diakeka wano sa semo enya no kreda. Esla has not closed down any radio station. Let me start by that. Now, just to summarize, um, the National Communications Authority is mandated by Section 2 of the Electronic Communications Act 2008, Act 775, to regulate the radio spectrum designated or allocated for use by broadcasting organizations and providers of broadcasting services. Upon assumption of office, I inform them to enforce their law. That's all that I did. Currently, there are 625 authorized FM stations in Ghana as at the end of 2020. 625. A total of 452, representing 72%, are in operation, and 173, representing 28%, are not yet in operation. In 2017, following my charge to them to enforce their law across sectors, not just in broadcasting, they conducted, the NCA conducted an audit exercise and which indicated that 144 stations had committed several infractions which necessitated that they be sanctioned. There's a breakdown of who did what, but I'm just giving a summary. At the end of the exercise, 56 FM stations were closed down. 43 of those stations have submitted fresh applications for authorization, out of which 30 have been processed and granted new authorizations to operate. The remaining 13 applications I'm informed will be processed within the first quarter of 2021. So by the end of March, the remaining 13 applications would be processed. Mr. Chairman. Chairman, process for what? Well, there's a procedure. Maybe, let me recap. After the FM audit, certain fines were imposed ranging from several millions of CDs to thousands of CDs on some of the affected stations. Some operators started paying those fines. There was a huge outcry that the fines were too much. And so I came to this house and announced that upon consultation with the board, uh, we're taking the decision to reduce the fines. The board itself took further action to reduce the fines to one year. Some had been in default for over 16 years and they had calculated it backwards. Dissatisfied with all that, some of these stations went to court and the, or the tribunal. Now the tribunal decided that the NCA acted wrongfully in imposing fines on those whose authorization had expired and had not applied for renewal. They could only impose fines on those who had valid authorizations. Now, if you do not apply for renewal three months at least before your license expires, it means you do not have a valid authorization and you revert the position of somebody who is now going to apply for an authorization. And so the NCA had to refund the monies that they had collected from those that they find. And if the law doesn't allow you to operate without a license, then you do not have the right to operate without a license. And that's what led to the shutdown of the radio 
stations. Am I at all?